Phishing emails stole $12.5 billion and are 36% of all the cyber attacks happening in the world right now. Every single day, they are being sent 3.6 billion phishing emails. That's crazy. For those who are not familiar with the phishing emails, they're basically a normal email sent to you by someone who wants to scam you, get your money or steal your data in any unpleasantable way possible. Usually that's done by redirecting you to a certain site which you don't want to visit because it's not safe. So one example, you're drinking your coffee in the morning and you get an email. Your passwords have been breached by Google. Reset it, otherwise you're gonna lose all of your data, blah blah blah. Of course you go to the site, you change your password and you're all good. But no, you are not all good. That site was actually a fake site sent to you by a scammer and that wasn't Google at all. And you all willingly gave your password and email to a scammer. And this guy is probably gonna sell it to black market for like five bucks to someone who's gonna blackmail you or steal all of your stuff somehow. And now the worst part is the emails, the fake ones and the real ones are super hard to see which one is real, which one is fake. Like our dear beloved friend AI got so good at writing emails you really cannot tell anymore. Before you used to have like countries that are like super separated with their like hard languages as Iceland perhaps because your their language is like thousand years old and like no one could decipher what the hell they're talking about either now imagine writing an email, like, look, 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 look at this word, like, Ledur, Ledur Blok, Ledur Blok Kamadurin, just say Batman, okay, just say Batman, damn it. And now all phishing emails are going all bananas in Iceland because you can basically trick a resident of Iceland by speaking their language, being scammed by a guy from a fourth world country, and then, then they won't even know because he speaks Icelandic, apparently. And, and scammed you for your money, yeah. The other example of phishing emails, well, your bank... Bank... Sent you an email about how you haven't paid an invoice long, long time ago. Really, really long time ago. And now they're gonna charge you extra. So you put your credit card details in the site they gave you. And cow bank, puff, your old card information is stolen. Also got sold on the dark web and stuff like that. And that's exactly why you have to be careful about mail. Because... 